In this tutorial, we're going to do a very simple menu in Game Maker. We're going to do future videos explaining how to dynamically control your menus as far as the button sizes and things like that for different platforms. This is just going to be a straight up menu. How do I get the mouse rollovers to work? How do I get it to go to different rooms? Things like that. So we're going to start by creating a new sprite. And we'll call this sprite, sprite start I'm going to do BTN start and that'll tell me that it's a button and the button is the start button we're going to change the size of the canvas to be 200 width 40 height and that should give us a good size for the button we'll go ahead and edit our button and what I'm going to do is we'll create a red background we're going to create a new layer and on this layer we're going to put some text because it's our start button we'll say start so now I'm going to copy this frame. We'll paste this frame. I'm going to go down to the bottom layer here and we're going to get our green and we're going to turn that green. So now we have two buttons. We have a red and a green button. We're going to create an object for our button. And we're going to start with the red sprite here. And in our add event, we're going to come down to mouse, mouse enter. And with that, what we want to happen is we want our button to change co colors. So we want it to switch between the first frame here and the second frame. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to come up here to our set sprite and we're going to choose our sprite button and we're going to say frame 1. So 0 is actually the first frame, 1 is going to be the second frame. We'll go ahead and create a room and set our object in our room. So now we can see our mouse enter. It's changing colors on us. However, it's not exactly what we want it to do. Now, the reason why it's doing that is because we have an animation in our button. So when our button is created, we actually want to set the speed of our button to be zero so that it's not animated. So we'll come over here to set animation speed. We'll change that to zero. So now we can see that it's not changing colors now on its own. And as our mouse rolls over the button, it changed colors. Now we have not told it to change back to red. So we need to come back to our mount our events and we need to add a mouse leave and do the same thing as before however this time we're going to change it to frame zero so now as we enter it's green and we leave it's red so that's a rollover effect all right now we want our button to do something when we click it so we're going to go ahead and add another room And we're going to go ahead and add another sprite. And we're going to change the size of the sprite. This is going to be another button.
And this button, we're simply just going to make it a back button. We're not going to do a rollover or anything like that with this one. And I need to make sure that I name it. And we're going to create an object with that back button. And with this one, we simply just want to do a mouse left pressed. And we're going to make it go to a different room. So we're going to roll down here to rooms. We want to go to a specific room because this is only going to be in room one. And we're going to make it go to room zero. So now with our other buttons, we're going to put a mouse left press. And when we left press this mouse, we want it to go to a specific room. And in this case, we want it to go to room one. One other thing we need to do is in room one, we need to add the back button. So let's go ahead and play this. We got our rollover working. When we click on our start button, we go to room two. We know that's room two because we see the back button. And when we click on the back button, we go back to start. 